Hello, Simple Gift Artists. Let's continue our project today. You can see that we've already drawn our simple shapes and made them into flora and fauna. Flora are plants and fauna are animals. We're going to outline our whole picture in oil pastel, black oil pastel, and then we're gonna paint it in using watercolors. What we would like to do is start at the most top places with the black oil pastel. That's why you'll notice everything at the top has already been started. That's so that we don't start at the bottom and then drag our hand through the oil pastel and smear it everywhere. That would make a mess. So let's continue coloring, I'm sorry, tracing in with the black oil pastel and then we'll set ourselves up for painting and go from there. Here we go. All right, everybody, let's start painting. Now you might notice some of your pencil lines are still showing. Do not go in there with an eraser and try to erase your pencil lines. It will smear the black oil pastel and you'll end up with a really big mess. Let's begin painting. Get your paintbrush nice and wet. And first, we activate our paints. We're just gonna put a little bit of paint in each of the ovals that we wanna use. Well, what colors do you wanna use? I like to use the primary colors. So I'm going to activate with red, yellow, and I put about three drops in each one, and some blue. I'll also use some green for my grass. And then I think I'll use some purple too. That's gonna to be in my flowers. Alrighty. You can, of course, mix your paints in the tray part of your lid of your watercolors. That's completely up to you. Or you can simply just go directly with the paint over here. But do not just take paint from your oval and go on to your work. You will end up using up your paint so fast you will run out at the end of this project, and then you won't have any paints to do any projects with at all. That would be really sad. Instead, make paint. How do you make paint? Well, put some water in one of those areas of the lid of your watercolors. Then, choose the color you wanna use next. I'm actually gonna use purple. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of purple with my brush, add it to that water. If I use this right now, it's going to be barely any purple at all. So I need to get some more. And what I'm doing is picking up the water that I use to activate the paint. I'm not actually rubbing the oval of the paint. This will be enough. Okay, now, I take some of that, see, I made paint. And I'm going to use it to fill in the parts of my picture that I want. Since I outlined using oil pastel, that means that oil pastel works as a wall. It keeps paint in one area while I'm using it and prevents it from going into other areas and other sections that I don't want it to. Okay. You might have a situation where you drip a little bit on your picture like that. You could wipe it off, but it'll make a smear. Some artists like to leave things like this because it makes it look more arty. I'm going to leave it. Okay, I'm gonna continue painting these flowers and then I will move on to the grass. I'll continue with all of my colors until I finish my whole picture and then I will be all done. Here we go. I hope you have fun painting and I look forward to seeing your pictures later. 